Why is everything fucked and hopeless after a breakup? And ironically, this video is about hope. Now, if you're wondering about the thumbnail, it's a recognition or an ode or a love letter to a book called Everything is Fucked, a book about hope. And that's by Mark Manson. And I highly recommend anybody that's interested to go read it. And I guess that's what's inspired today's video. And also, I've come into a lot of stick lately about when I say hope is dangerous in the context of a breakup. Some people agree, some people disagree, and some people are indifferent, and that's okay. But I'm going to tell you why today that hope is not a good thing to have, but I'm going to tell you why that will ultimately lead you to hope, lead you to clarification and uh, way out, whatever you want to call it. So before I get into that, you know what's coming. Welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible. And if today's video is not enough for you, which I really hope it is, you can reach out to me for a one-to-one -one at thelovefix20 at gmail.com. And if you don't want to go down that road, you can join my free Facebook group. Come and join the community. Just go to Facebook and type in The Love Fix Breakup Recovery and join the community where everybody is helping each other get through each other's breakups. Right. With all that said, let's get into it. Why is hope so toxic and dangerous when it comes to a breakup? There's a few reasons. One, hope, and I've said this so many times, hope is very much a thing that we construct in our head that isn't really real. It's a belief that we can influence events and people outside of our control. And dumpies especially will say things like, oh, I still have hope. I still think they may come back once they've sorted their stuff out, once they've sorted their shit out. And I come across these kind of comments all the time. But here's the problem with that. As dumpies, you are projecting your version of reality, your version of how you feel about the breakup onto the dumper. And you have to realize that the dumper is not reading from the same rule book as you right now. They're not on the same track. They're not on the same planets. They're not in the same galaxy. They're, they're not even in the same universe. They couldn't be further away from you at this point in terms of what they are feeling. And this is the problem. You're feeling one way and that sucks balls. And it's horrible and it's, it's gut-wrenching. There's that sinking feeling. There's that horrible anxiety. You, you, you're losing sleep. You don't want to eat. Everything's lost its color. There's no meaning to anything anymore. I get it. Been there many times. And it hurt every time. And every time I learned how to deal with it a little bit better. But it still hurt. And I still carry scars. Some deep scars. But you have to understand that's how you feel. That's not how the dumper feels. Unless they call you and say, this is how I feel. And then you can be, hey, yeah, I feel the same way. Let's, get, let's give this another go. But until you've received that call or text message or FaceTime, whatever, you shouldn't hope because hope will keep you in a bad place for much longer than you need to. And breakups are already very, very difficult. One of the most difficult things you'll ever go through. Because you are grieving people who are still alive. And they are just on a different journey. Their journey is one of, wow, I'm glad I'm away from that at the moment. They wasn't listening to me. They wasn't fulfilling my needs. I didn't feel safe with this person. I fell out of love with this person. For whatever reason it might be. And yeah, maybe they've got a lot of shit going on. Maybe they've got a lot of mental issues. But again, there is nothing you can do about that. And if you're thinking to yourself and saying to yourself something like, oh, okay, they just need to sort their shit out and everything will be okay. It won't because 
there's every chance they'll sort their shit out, realize that you were the wrong person for them and, and move on anyway. And if they do come back, why would you want to be with someone that couldn't handle the ups and downs of a relationship? So hope is going to keep you exactly where you are. Hope is going to manifest unrealistic thoughts and goals in your head. Hope is going to manifest unrealistic outcomes in your head because you are projecting your preferred outcome onto the dumper and right now they do not align they do not match and it's a crying shame and I get that this advice is really really hard to hear and it's fucked it's very fucked up but Here's where we need to unfuck ourselves and realize that we're now on very different journeys to our exes. So this is where it turns around. Once you've accepted that it's fucked, you're fucked, they're fucked, we've all got shit going on. Once you've accepted that, you can start healing. You have to feel it to heal it. And you're not really going to feel it whilst you're hanging on to this manufactured hope that you have in your head. And it will just lead you down a very, very bad path. But once you can step back and say, right, okay, they're gone. And maybe they never come back. And that sucks balls and that hurts and that stings and cry your feelings scream into a pillow, go punch a punch bag, whatever you got to do. But this is where hope can turn around and be an, be a potent ally because now you're no longer hoping for them to come back. You're now looking towards an alternative future. You're now looking towards a better version of you. You're now looking towards better adventures, new people to meet, new hobbies to start. That's the hope you should be aiming for because I generally, I gen, genuinely believe that most people are good so when I say your ex in most cases is not a bad person for dumping you and don't get me wrong I've spoken to plenty of people where they've had a horrid time with their exes and I'm like okay this is not a nice human being you need to stay away from them but in most cases it's a nice human being that's actually dumped you and there's nothing wrong with that. You feel there's something wrong with that. They've broken your expectations. They once supposedly loved you, quote unquote, unconditionally, which there's no real such thing as unconditional love for a partner. It's all conditional. And now those conditions have changed. The conditions no longer suit their idea of love or commitment or relationship. And that's a crying shame and it hurts. So this is where you take your power back. And this is where you find a new hope to quote Star Wars. I didn't realize I was quoting Star Wars there, but you know, a new hope, the film. That's where you should be aiming. That's where your efforts should be focused on. So whilst I say hope is bullshit in the terms of a breakup, yeah, it's bullshit. So, in the terms of starting a new life and making a new future for yourself, I think it can be a potent ally to a point because you've got something to aim for. With your ex, there is nothing to aim for. There's a void. There is no target. There is no goal because, as I said, they're on a different track, on a different train, heading in the opposite direction to a different world essentially to a different mindset you cannot obtain that target and that's why it is hopeless to sit there hoping that they are going to fix the shit in their head that they are going to reconsider your relationship it is hopeless but even the word hopeless has hope in it 
And this is what I mean by this is actually a video about hope. But coming at it from the opposite angle, going in a different direction, taking it to places you never thought you could take it. And guys, I am tangible living proof of once being two years ago an absolute broken wreck of a man who lost his partner and didn't just lose his partner but lost his stepdaughter who he, who I loved dearly and I still think about that little girl I never get to see her again and I've squared with that I've made my peace with it still comes up in my head every now and then but when I look back on that journey and what I've done what I've achieved the mistakes I've made the failures that have happened the things I got right and the things I got spectacularly wrong in that two years. I wouldn't change any event because it it just leveled me up massively. And I'm such a different person to who I used to be two years ago. And I look back on that man, that younger version of me, that less mature version of me. And look at you and think, right, okay, that had to happen. That had to happen for me to be here today. Giving you this probably quite triggering video, but this is just advice that I've been given by my coaches, my therapists, my mentors, and the books that I've read. So it's not it's not that there is no hope. It's find hope in better places. Find hope in things that are worth your time and effort. Don't invest in someone that is not invested in you right now. It's not worth it. They left. That's the crying shame of it, but that's the cold, harsh reality. And maybe they don't come back. And I'm truly sorry for you. I really am. But I'm not going to lie to you, and I won't bullshit you ever. I will tell you, yeah. And I tell most people that I speak to on the phone, this will hurt for quite some time. It's going to be a tough journey. But here's what you do to feel better. A, B, C, D, X, Y, and Z. Here's what you do. Here's the hope. Here's the target. Here's the journey to go for. Investing in yourself. Leveling up. Being that better person. Because it will lead you to better things. It will lead you to better partners. I promise you that. If you, if you do the work that is and, and you level up and you fix your mistakes. It will lead you to a much better partner. And... Yeah, guess that's all I've got to say about that. But as always, guys, you'll be okay. I promise you'll be fine. And if your ex doesn't come back, yeah, it will sting for a while. But one day you'll come across someone who will just knock your socks off and you won't think about your ex anymore because you'll be too focused on them but hopefully before they come along you've been too focused on yourself building a great life yourself a great single life and then when that great person does come along you're in a position of where you can take it or you can leave it because if they're not enhancing your life they're detracting from your life and you should be in a good enough place where you can say thanks but no thanks i only want people that will boost me not detract, not bring me down, not slow me down. And that's all for today. You will be okay. Move on correctly, not quickly. I'll see you on the other side.